And welcome back all morning long. We're talking about the impact of screen time. Now we want to focus, Craig, on some solutions. Yeah, so we brought in NBC's tech correspondent, Jacob Ward, is here. And you can follow along with his tips by scanning that QR code that's on your screen right now. Jake, let's start with some of these, these alternatives. Yeah, so we as a family were put in the same position that so many of today's guests were trying to figure out with a 12-year-old, what do we do, right? So we have a pledge at our school that I helped to, to pilot, which basically is a, a pledge that we won't give our kids smartphones until they get to high school at the very earliest. Wow. You're all in on that together. We're all in That's on that huge. together because you cannot be the only one. Yep. Right. If you do, your you kid is help. isolated and you're stuck. So in our case, however, we knew that our 12-year-old was going to begin making friends, you know, uh, at camp, yep. doing sports and giving them my number is not appropriate. And so we got them this. We got them a light phone. This thing is essentially the, the dream phone of the 1990s. It essentially gives you only talking, text, music. That's it. Maps and a calendar. And if, there's a couple others. But and the big thing it doesn't too. have, and this is the thing, is it doesn't have a camera. Now, these other ones here are some starter phones. There's one called Gab. Uh, there's, there's a couple of them here that are... Uh, you know, designed to kind of uh, acclimate your kid in a way to the smartphone experience. And over time, you can unlock more apps. I want to say right now, though, even though the American Academy of, of, of Pediatrics has found that 12 is the average age that kids start to get a phone, that doesn't mean you have to do this. We had to get one in order to create a socially appropriate way for my kid to be a little independent yeah. and get around. Right. This is what I was comfortable with. You know, a smartwatch, this kind of phone, maybe that's the way to go for you. But for us, no camera Jake, was the absolute bright red light. The Pediatric line. Academy says 12. What is, what is the real age? When are kids getting phones? I mean, they're getting them on average at 12. By 15, the finding is that almost all kids have a phone in some form. The question now is what do you do, and especially what do you do if the kid already has a smartphone? There are apps you can get. There's a couple of them specifically, one called Bark, okay. one called Custodio, and these are apps that you can use to monitor your kid's use of the phone. It can filter out gambling sites. It can filter out porn. But the other thing that you're walking into in this one is you're having to have a conversation with your kid saying, I'm monitoring right. your phone. Because if you try and sneak around on them, if you monitor their background or you monitor where they are in the world without telling them, I think that destroys your relationship so you, with your son. You, you hit the nail on the head, though. Isn't the real solution in the local community to set up, just in your school district, a meeting with the other parents and go, hey, we're all in this together. That's right. Let's set the standard of the age. Let's set the devices. Right. No TikTok, it no Instagram. Us, but you guys, it, Carson, it took me two years to get together with all these parents. And I think fundamentally everybody was really on board. We only have a couple of people who were resistant. Everybody wanted to be involved. But it took two years of meetings to try and figure out right. how to do this and the standard you had to set was high schools the be very beginning of any kind of smartphone much less social media which for everybody was the thing they 30, wanted to 30 seconds you cover, you cover silicon valley yes, yeah. a lot of people say silicon valley executives don't let their kids have phones you guys if you look at one of the most recent posts by mark zuckerberg that shows his kids he blocks their face out yeah you know it is no clearer than that that those guys understand what happens in the long term, both when you feed your kids' faces into these companies and when the hardware, uh, you know, gets into their hands. I think we should follow their lead yeah. and maybe adopt something other than the traditional smartphone. Well, I hope they're and, doing something And we're going to put all the information about these. It'll all be seen to look at it today. today.com. Thank you. You can find these tips and more again by scanning that QR code or you can go to today.com. We're back in a moment. This is Today on NBC. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.